Hello and welcome to Crafting with Jane. <clears throat> Today I'm looking at a uh, another new stamp set. Um, this is by a company called All, double A, double L, and Create. Um, and this one is called Hexapetalistic, which is quite funny. So hex meaning five sides, one, two, three, four, five, six sided. Um, petalistic meaning petals and things. It's designed by Tracy Evans who is a really lovely artist and um, I thought that I would get it because it has got so many floral images in on there and I thought that there's a lot that we can work with. So um, the words as well are just absolutely lovely so I've stamped them out because I'm going to sort of cut pieces out of them. We've got Beauty Surrounds Us, Big Hugs, Plant a garden, plant happiness, feed the soul, nurture a garden, gardens add life to your years. And that's very true. I spend a lot of time in my garden, so I thought that that was perfect. And I know a lot of my friends who I send cards to are great gardeners as well. So I thought I would start with a what I would call a clean and simple one. So I've just stamped, because I wanted to colour it, I wanted it to dry. I've stamped this image, which is this one. So they're great big, huge, <clears throat> huge size images, nice um, sort of um, photopolymer type stamp so that you can see good thickness and they stamp beautifully. So um, I will try and put a link below down to it, but <clears throat> I don't know whether I can guarantee that. So I have got some um, alcohol markers and some pencils. And I thought that we would have a bit of a colouring session. So um, I'm going to try and move you in just a bit. So excuse me as we're going to shake because I want to try and bring you in. So I can just take that like that. Do I bring you in any more? Maybe just a little bit like that. Okay. So that's brought us in a bit nearer. So I'm going to try and keep on that side. Now I'm going to do the center of the flower. Um, now I've got a little swatch for my, says me. I always get things out and then get, here it is. I have a swatch that I've done for um, my alcohol markers, only so I can then see the colors I want because quite often, when you look at them, they are very similar on their lids, but they're not the same when you actually take them out. So I want the 21 is the darker, I think. Is that the darker? 21, yes it is. So I want the darker one to go on the outside. And I'm going to start with that one. So I'm just literally going to go in round on this bit. Just take that round the outside because that's the dark part. So I want that to come all the way round on the bottom like that. And then I'm going to take the lighter. And these aren't expensive alcohol markers, but they've been very good. So I'm going to just take it round through on here because that's going to sort of give me the light. Just take it round like that. And then you've got this rather nice sort of orange coming through like that. OK, I just need to make sure because obviously it's done with dark. I'm just going to get a little bit of scrap out here. Um, oh, no, that's fine. I thought it had discoloured it a little bit, but I don't think it has. OK, and then I'm going to do the leaves in pink. So I've got a dark because we want dark, which is going to be near to the bottom so I can take that up a little bit I'm sort of taking it round on each one of the little leaves or petals rather I'm just just sort of stroking it so I want it all nice and dark oh there's a little one that comes that way we can sort of go round him, just putting dark in on there. So 
I'm just going round. I don't want to do it on the stalk. Some of the bits I'm getting a little bit longer. Some of them I'm getting a little bit shorter. Now I know some of you, as I say, I'm not a great big disclaimer here. I'm no professional at doing this. You know, it's all been just practice. But I know that quite a lot of you enjoy watching to see. Now, these need to be darker just under here because these little bits seem to go in underneath. So that should be fine on there. Then I can take the paler one and I can just blend that in so it comes up paler at the end. Because what I want to do is to have the two tones of this and you can turn it round as you go if you want. And you can see as the um, the inks blend in together, you end up with getting more of a seamless look to it, which is what we want. Because we don't want sort of jagged edges from one colour to the next, we want it to blend in seamlessly so it will get that one in on there. It will blend in quite seamlessly. So um this is this is not quite as pink as I quite wanted it but I think it'll dry hopefully a little bit pinker. So you can see I work my way around this way because I find it easier to do it like that. So just taking it in on here out to the tops of these like that and now I can literally just on that line that goes from one to the other I can take it through like that. So I think that that looks quite nice. Didn't want it too overly bright. I've missed a little piece off of here. Just see it just in on there. There we go. So I now want to do the stem. And I think 47 is lighter. Yes, it is. So I just want to do that down on here. Like that. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to do another. I was going to do a deeper down the side, but it's quite narrow, isn't it? I might try. Because that just gives a little bit of shadow, but I don't want too much of it. So I'm just sort of dotting it up. That's better. So you've got your dark down on one side and your light up in on the other. Let's move you across a bit. Hopefully you haven't gone out of the way. Okay, now I want to do the pencils because I want to do these pieces behind. So I thought I would do um, a yellow. So what I want to do is to just do round on these little bits here. Now these are what they call ink tense pencils, which means that they're slightly more vibrant than normal watercolour pencils. Um, I was given them quite a few years ago. Um, I will show you the tin when I've just done this so you can see. Um, they're UK made, so I'm not sure on getting them in other countries but I would have thought you probably can because most things you can get you know I can get things that are only made in um, America or Canada or whatever um, yes the shipping is more expensive but um, I know that you can get them so I'm just taking this over like this so that's going to be the yellow one um, I will show you the tin at the end so I don't get it mixed up um, and then I'm going to go slightly paler in on here. Oh, that looks virtually similar. No, I'm not then. I'm going to go for this one and I'll take a third colour 
So that's a greeny one. And I'm just going to take this down in on here. And again, it, I want to have colours that I can blend in together because this is obviously going to be the the green in on here but I want these that overlap each other to be a combination of the two so that's yellow that's green I'm going to have to take another one let me just get them out okay so these are the pencils they're called ink tents but they're going to be very 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 big for you to see because I haven't zoomed out in fact I'm going to zoom out a bit now because otherwise you're going to be all over the place aren't you so let me just bear with me a second there we are that's better okay so that shows you those are what we call Derwent Inktense 24 and they are, as I say, highly pigmented um, pencils. So I want um, probably a darker green, maybe. Let me have a look and see. Um, yes, I'm going to have a darker green. So this is the sort of the next one down, um, which is, I should have given you the colours, shouldn't I? If I can read them. field green so this should be a darker one yes it is okay so I can just take that like that and I'm just going to color in across like this I'm doing it sort of across one way and the other so that it blends in quite nicely and then when we come across to our piece on here we're going to have them both together Okay, so that's given those colours on there, which I think just works well. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to take a water brush. So this is my aqua brush. Now, this one, I always just sort of do it on here. I don't want it to be too wet, which this one isn't. And then all I'm going to do is to just... Can see how lovely and bright this comes out but I just want to make it nice as a water make sure that I get it in between here and because I've done the other in alcohol alcohol and water doesn't mix so it means that I can come right up to the edge and it's not going to blend in also what I did was I made sure that um, I used a um, pigment ink as well which is the Versafine and I was just that's why I waited for it to dry completely so that's the yellow part now if I just clean my brush I'm just doing it on the back of my hand and then I can do this bit which is the blend of the two so you get a, an, an extra colour coming in, which I think is quite nice. Okay, now I'm going to then go down in onto the green. Oh, I've still got some yellow in here. I don't want the yellow. Get that out. Let me do it from the bottom up. Oh, maybe this has got a bit of yellow in it as well. I think it's actually got some yellow in it, says me. I thought it was a different sort of, it is a slightly different sort of green but it has got quite a bit of yellow in it so just want to bring that down and take it this way yes it's a yellowy green which is quite nice actually because then it tones in I wanted them to try and complement each other and just work through And again, this is very nice, bright, vibrant colour. But if you turn it round and you do, as I say, this, I haven't got a lot of water on this one, which is what I want. I want a fairly dry brush. 
because this is only just normal card and what I don't want to do is to have um, my paper getting saturated because it's just ordinary cardstock so I'm going to do this bit first And I can come down to the edge. It's quite nice being a square pattern because you can then take it through. And then I can just take this up on here. And then this is going to blend through in onto the two. So it's just got a slightly different colour where the two blend in. So you can see that blends into that, that blends into that. And that works quite nicely. Now I could do something round on that part. And I don't know whether I should. I don't know whether I should do something sort of a little bit neutrally or I should just keep it black. I think I'm going to keep it black. I think I'm going to keep it black because I think that just sort of works a bit. Um, now I've got to decide from these words that I was showing you, which is what have I done with them? They're down on here somewhere, aren't they? Okay, what are we going to have on here? Um, beauty surrounds us. Plant a garden, plant happiness. Oh, it's difficult to tell, isn't it? I think gardens add lives. Beauty surrounds us. I think beauty surrounds us, actually. I quite like that. So I'm just going to cut this one out. I quite like this sort of font as well, because it's not... Um, it's not precise. Oh, got a bit of glue on my um, scissors. I've just remembered I was trying to get some glue into something and I just... Um, now, do I have it right? Though? Yes, I, I think I will. I was going to separate it off, but I think I'm just going to have it like this. need to just take a little bit off of this one okay so that's then going to come so I just have it straight across like that no I need to do something around the edge of it don't I um now I've got my Posca pens which I use all the time so let me just get those out and I might use dark ones so I could just put some black around the edge of it or I could put gold or I could put silver what do I reckon on a bit of gold I think a bit of gold might be quite nice I was using that on another card so and I quite like the look of it so let me just get a piece of scrap out that'll do and I'm literally just going to, let's see if I've got a bruise on my hand, it's the paint. I'm just going to take it from the, onto the paper so it just literally takes the edge of it. Turn it round. And then on this one again, just so it takes the edge of it. Because I don't want to mount it on gold or anything but I think that that just and it's literally just the edge I'm going to leave it for a second to dry while I go around the um, the outside of the there we go that's going to work perfectly give it two seconds to dry and then I want to go around the outside of this as well in the gold um, I quite like gold I quite like silver but I think gold on this because we got the yellow in on there. So I'm just taking that round the side. So this is quite a nice clean and simple card, but I think sometimes it's, it's quite nice to do that. There's a lot of detail in that stamp. So I didn't want to make anything more of it. I think sometimes it can look too fussy. And uh, and that's fine if you like that, that sort of fussy look. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I think less is more. And I think with this one, 
less is more that I think looks lovely so let me just put my lid on that put my words which are now going to come across like that and I'm just gluing them I don't want to put any dimension on it this time so I'm just going to get a little bit of glue like that and then that's going to come just very simply in on that piece between those together so you've just got that there there we go now I've got a card blank somewhere let's take one of these out I think that's probably about right I can put that on like that I might have to do it the other way actually there we go so I put that in on the center like that and I don't think I want anything else on it I quite like all of that white space. I think that works really well. So I hope you enjoyed that. As always, please stay safe and well. Please be kind. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.